today we're going to take a look inside two of the top five most powerful accounts in all of rise of kingdoms and that is none other than both wild lion and mr hope both of these accounts are well over 1 billion power in rise of kingdoms and if i'm not mistaken they're also currently in a pretty intense kvk so their power could be fluctuating but both wild lion and mr hope have sort of gained a bit of prominence in the last i would say probably six to twelve months here in rise of kingdoms because their power has shot up exponentially and it is actually insane and the reason that we are able to cover both of these accounts at the same time is because this is a father and son duo so we're gonna get to take an inside look at all of their commanders their equipment their armaments and everything but before we do i want to thank mr hope and wild lion for allowing me to show off their account here on the channel and also shout out to cdn the third there was a bit of a language barrier between myself and wild lion he primarily speaks Russian and I don't so a lot of time and effort went into making this video possible so shout out to everyone that helps me with this and also if you appreciate that make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and then later in the video I'm gonna go over why I think that these two accounts combined are worth over one and a half or two million US dollars and just to be clear that is my estimate they did not tell me what they spent on these accounts they wanted to keep that private but I did some math and I'm gonna give you guys my best guess but before we jump in what's going on guys cheers all right we got mr hope and wild lion right next to one another we have 776 consecutive login days for wild lion and here you can see that when they recorded this video he was at 1.2 billion power with 82 and a quarter million dead troops okay that is something that i used in my calculation later to kind of guess how much these accounts might be worth so that is some important data right there but we also have over 12 billion kill points from wild lion alone which is quite insane all right let's jump right into the commanders here for wild lion number one on his power ranking is nevsky and i suspect that we're gonna see an all golden everything okay i think we kind of saw that coming what's interesting here is the legs we don't see the ash of the dawn here but we do see the set piece legs basically set piece everything and it's all talented with all iconics and he also has the Kurok's war drums here as well as the horn of fury typically I see the ring of doom on Nevsky because I think Nevsky with Joan pumps out a ton of skill damage, a ton of damage in general. And so you would want the ring, but this is a really interesting combination that we see here. Next up is the armaments here. And oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Look at all of those inscriptions. Jesus Christ. I'm so poor. I'm so poor. Okay. We have 6.2% attack, 11.8% defense, 9.7% health, and 2.5% cavalry march speed really nice stuff there i wonder if we're gonna go through um here we see five percent extra skill damage uh ten percent chance to deal damage two and a half percent more skill damage one percent extra damage we have three percent less skill damage taken and we also have two and a half percent extra skill damage as well moving on to the guan yu we see all talented everything except for the helmet which i believe he has about halfway if i'm not mistaken from what i saw earlier he also doesn't have the talent on the horn but we do see a dagger here which is really interesting stuff we do see the shio's return boots and the eternal knight legs which is really nice to see we also see the hope cloak so that is all great best in slot everything we love to see it uh, i wonder if he has the hammer of sun and moon somewhere else or if he just settled for the shield so that we could get the set bonus but moving on here we have the armaments on the guan yu and we see 11.5 percent infantry attack 7.9 percent defense and 11.9 percent infantry health we see no all damage on this as well which is pretty crazy of course this is always going to be wedge formation right unless we're talking about liu che or like trajan or something it's probably always going to be wedge formation but we see three and a half percent less normal attack damage taken and when you hit 80 percent rage you deal eight percent skill damage for three seconds that's amazing okay that's amazing we have a breaker here it says you have a 10 percent chance to reduce targets defense every 10 seconds they get one percent normal attack damage which is wild three percent less counter attack damage taken and three percent extra skill damage which is really good for guan yu next up we have budokin oh my god it seems like all the horns are not talented I think that makes sense i think eventually you'll want to get them there but really there's tons of ways to get rage these days so if you're going to talent any of your accessories first it would be like the rings and stuff like that but here you see we have the dragon's breath bow so we don't have the kvk weapon but we do have a special talent 
on everything the full set here this is actually insane obviously all iconic crystals in everything here and we see okay so the armaments on the archers here unless he has another archer set as a primary this would be obviously the weakest of the lot but we have 9.7 percent archer attack 10.8 percent archer defense 10.3 percent archer health we have three inscriptions we have a 30 percent chance to gain 10 percent attack whenever you deal skill damage and you have a one percent extra normal attack damage for striker and we finally have three and a half percent extra health so really good stuff there for the health next up we have trajan and this is full talented leadership except for the accessories oh my god this is obviously a full set of infantry gear with the leadership talent i don't know what the sacred grips are doing over here I, I think that's what they're called this is typically not a piece that you would normally see but perhaps because trajan i think that's actually infantry attack it's been so long since i've even looked at that piece sacred grips okay it's infantry defense not the end of the world it's it is what it is this is just kind of probably his uh, extra infantry set that he built as a leadership he probably started building this before the leadership set came out that's what i would suspect but also you're usually going to run trajan full infantry anyway so i think that that is completely fine we also see another Kurok's war drum there which is nice moving on to armaments here we have obviously the echelon formation and we have pretty much all infantry everything here okay we have ten and a half percent infantry attack 8.3 percent infantry defense and 11 percent infantry health with a little bit of cab defense there so if he does run a little bit of mixed you get a little bit of stats there as well we also have two inscriptions we have influential leader five percent more rage gain i don't know if that really moves the needle to be honest with you guys and you also have a 10 percent chance with each normal attack to increase the attack of three nearby friendly targets by 15 percent really really good stuff there i love the buffs and we also have 1.5 percent extra skill damage that's probably not that relevant for trajan but it is what it is next we have cpo and here we see actually the set boots um we still don't see hammer of the sun and moon so i suspect that he's probably been getting the other kvk shop items hammer of sun and moon really isn't that important from the kvk shop realistically okay and also obviously we have pendant of eternal night over here for an extra five percent skill damage that is a very uncommon piece that we normally don't see but I think CPO does pop off a lot of skill damage. So maybe we could be seeing a, a little bit of a unique piece right there. We also see less iconic crystals on the CPO than we see pretty much anywhere else in this entire video. So this is definitely a set that he is still working on. And if we take a look here at the armaments, we see once again, still a work in progress, but we have 9.7% infantry attack, 10 and percent infantry defense and 10.4% infantry health. We have three inscriptions here. We have a 30% chance when dealing skill damage to gain 10% attack for three seconds really good stuff we have two percent extra damage while on the map that's amazing and one and a half percent extra skill damage really good love to see it here we see juge leong and there is no iconic crystals in any of this stuff so still working on a lot of this and i think that just goes to show here right like you guys might be a little bit confused as to how you have over a billion power and still be working on gear and i think that that just goes to show how quickly these two accounts have reached their their current power level right uh these aren't players who have been around since baba right baba has been around since like the beginning of the game maverick has been around since like the beginning of the game right and i think even yoda has been around a little bit longer than mr hope and wild lion i could be wrong about that but i do think that these two players are a bit newer on the power rankings than a lot of the others that we know and love especially like mimi for example she's been around forever so the progress on this account is insane but it happened very quickly and that's where i think that these players probably spent a lot of money to catch up to some of the players like baba right who've been doing this for years but regardless juge leong over here with a talent on everything just missing out on a couple of iconic crystals and we also see i think those are the commander's boots and the war oh what are those legs yeah tacits of the war god archer attack and also the commander's boots archer attack again so those two pieces i think are a little bit questionable but i think that juge leong is also pretty tanky from his stats if i remember correctly from the skills so perhaps uh you know we, we're just seeing that this is the leftover set also the gloves there those are ian's choice so even more archer attack we see a lot of archer attack on this set here there's defense obviously on the weapon we also see eternal lights pendant over here once again for more skill damage and another dagger so really interesting stuff here on 
the uh Juge Leong once again here we have another wedge formation obviously uh 10 and a half uh, sorry 10.7 percent archer attack 7.7 percent archer defense 8.8 percent archer health and 2.9 percent march speed really good the march speed for the archers here especially on Juge Leong is really important because he is slow as rocks out in the open field to be completely honest with you guys we have uh, robust and spiked over here for the um for the inscriptions and we have two and a half percent health and I think spiked is counterattack. nope that is attack 3.5 percent attack here we have who oh another full legendary set bro we have pride of the Khan as the helmet and sacred dominion so two kvk pieces right here really good stuff we have the ash of the dawn over here best in slot legs we have navar's control uh for the gloves best in slot gloves we have the set piece for the chest and the, the boots as well uh we also see a vengeance over here it's infantry talented but moved over to huo probably in a pinch because he probably has maybe better infantry things that he could be using not really sure what's going on there but overall i mean this set is insane it's an insane set let's be real okay here we have more wedge formation and we see eight percent cavalry attack 8.1 percent defense and 7.6 percent health so definitely a little bit on the lower side and again we also don't see all damage i'm really concerned about that confused why uh, it seems like this player is opting out of the all damage in favor of the cavalry health obviously armaments are all random but i'm assuming that they've used some amount of transmutation stones and maybe they know something that i don't about what is best in slot here but breaker has a 10 percent chance to reduce their defense by 15 percent really good stuff there okay two percent more damage when attacking a city or stronghold i don't think you're ever going to do that with huo but it is what it is maybe for swarms that's really good and also two and a half percent extra healthier so a nice little bump to the health that's nice we have yss with the full leadership set so i spoke too soon it looks like his best leadership set is on his isun sin uh, i think there's obviously no iconic crystals here so maybe that's why for the trajan it's all infantry and also again most players want all infantry on trajan regardless but this is all talented so if you ever hit his city he is absolutely not going down without a fight okay this obviously is not that important of gear typically you don't like run a mixed full everything right um typically you also don't run yss as primary so again maybe we're looking at a yss heraclius or something i don't really know what the pairing would be there but this is really good stuff nonetheless and we also see uh basically just his leftover accessories here okay we have the uh five percent less normal attack damage taken and also silent trial over here which is uh really really good stuff so I wonder what we have for the um inscription or the armaments here probably a little bit weak yes we have mostly infantry stuff seven percent attack three and a half percent defense five point nine percent health and we have four different uh inscriptions there they probably weren't that relevant because he did just skip past them uh but you can see you know off to my off above my head here um we do see an expertise Liu Che already and an expertise uh, Heraclius which is really really nice um but basically I mean I can move myself over here he's got pretty much everything is expertise here okay I mean it's actually insane he's pretty much expertise uh, a majority of the commanders in the game which is it's wild he even expertise uh the the Genghis Khan and the Saladin okay probably for some kvk2 dominance right but we do see the Margaret not expertise yet but definitely getting there uh, I wonder how interested Wildline is with building a ranged set because we do know that ranged is getting a buff with this upcoming patch so perhaps he is preparing for that and also probably doesn't have that much other stuff to work on right uh so this is basically just some extra v formation things over here but overall I think that's probably a majority of his stuff he even expertise Edward of Woodstock as you can see uh, up there we have Cleopatra full gathering set as well which you might expect um he has not expertise Thutmose, which you'll see uh, right here he's obviously getting pretty close but um overall like crazy crazy progress on this account has not expertise shook yet same thing with Gilgamesh getting there as well probably spinning those wheels to be honest with you um getting close there with Flavius I'm actually kind of surprised that Flavius is not expertise although I think that uh, between this account and the other one it seems like this account is not that focused on infantry it's maybe more focused on cavalry um and perhaps Mr Hope is more focused on infantry right that that could be uh could be the case we see still working on Bobber and Suleiman and Yanziska um all this stuff pretty much not that uh exciting you know it's it's nothing really worth writing home about but one thing to note here obviously he doesn't have Lubu or Dao Chan so that should give you guys a better idea as to when this account 
was created right obviously with somebody who's spending as heavily as this player they obviously would have gotten at least gotten their hands on both of these commanders when they first came out so the fact that they don't have it just goes to show like this is a much younger uh insane account than like again like baba and things like that here you can see in the honor roll uh we can see mr hope and wild line are both near the top of the honor roll uh in the the rankings of 60 gt which is quite impressive it's actually insane to be this uh, competitive with those players i mean it's wild okay so that's just to give you guys the caliber of accounts that we're looking at today and the fact that we get to see both of them in one video is actually insane obviously you could see uh basically instant maxed tech right here okay like it's it's basically done already and kvk when they recorded this kvk basically just started so okay now let's jump over to mr hope's account and you could see that this account also has 6.7 million gems absolutely insane jumping over to the commanders we can see that the highest powered commander on this account is actually Boudicca prime and not nevsky so perhaps we're going to see more of an archer focused account although I do believe like I said earlier I think this is mainly infantry if I'm not mistaken but let's take a look at the gear here and we can see an absolutely stunning and perfect set here for our Boudicca everything is perfectly talented and iconic crystal we have the ring we have the dagger I think I see more daggers on this account than I typically see for most uh players if i'm not mistaken and if we jump over here to the armaments we see 11.1 percent archer attack 11.9 percent defense and 10.3 percent archer health with three inscriptions we have balanced once again this is the three and a half percent increased normal attack damage and the eight percent extra skill damage when you reach 80 percent rage we have three and a half percent attack and we also have three percent less counter attack damage taken which is beautiful next up is Trajan and we have a really powerful Trajan on this account we see Karox Wardrum with the talent as well which is beautiful everything here has the iconic crystal it is obviously all an infantry set once again just like we saw over for wild lion taking a look at the echelon formation armaments we have 11 and a half percent infantry attack 8.7 percent defense and 12 and a half percent infantry health quite insane stuff there we have a five percent increase in rage gain five percent of rage gain is almost nothing to be honest with you guys if it doesn't reduce the amount of turns it takes for your active skill to go off it's kind of irrelevant but perhaps in longer fights it, it adds up here we have three and a half percent infantry uh health or three and a half percent health and here we see when using the v formation the wireless troop gains five percent extra ranged so interesting stuff there next up we have the nevsky we have a full golden and talented everything here except for those karak war drums but we also see the set piece legs as well which is definitely a, a little bit uncommon again we usually see ash of the dawn there but we go over to the armaments and we have 9.9 percent .9 attack 12.4 percent defense and an even 10 percent cavalry health we have four inscriptions here we have five percent extra skill damage and a ten percent boost to single target damage otherwise a two percent next we have fearsome which is one percent extra damage we have three and a half percent attack and we also have one percent extra damage really nice stuff there Guan Yu also all golden everything we have the kvk shop helmet with the talent that is amazing we love to see it and of course we have basically best in slot everything except for the hammer of sun and moon but again that is typically not top priority compared to a lot of other things here we have 7.8 percent infantry attack 10 and a half percent infantry defense 3.4 percent infantry health and 3.1 percent all damage i'm happy to see the all damage we have combo eight percent extra skill damage which is amazing good for the secondary commander there we have five percent extra damage over 70 rage love that we have two and a half percent defense and two and a half percent defense here as well which is really nice next we have huo also with the pride of the khan and sacred dominion once again we have ash of the dawn legs which is beautiful navar's control we got the talents on most of these things here we also see again uh, an infantry talent for the vengeance so it seems like both these players have come to the conclusion that huo is the one that gets targeted most often and requires that increased counter attack damage that seems to be the evidence here based on vengeance not being on an infantry commander looking at the armaments we have 10.3 percent attack 9.5 percent defense and 10.2 percent cavalry health with three inscriptions we have 2.5 percent defense one percent normal attack damage and three percent less counter attack damage taken moving over to yss once again we have a full leadership set so very similar accounts here with some of these sets that are being built 
we get again see the silent trial and Elaine's amulet over here as well this is all talented which is really really nice stuff we have mostly infantry stats here on the armaments with three inscriptions three and a half sorry two and a half percent defense two and a half percent defense and we have two and a half percent extra I don't know what that was because it was too fast but we also have a Zenobia here which does have maxed out gear really good stuff here okay so this just goes to show we probably see infantry garrisons on this account and I wonder if maybe one account is for garrison the other is for rallying perhaps that's how the father-son duo works not really sure but we have the Juge Leong over here with the again Cape of the War God on the legs and the uh I think it's commander's boots down there all with talents Ian's choice I think as the gloves there we have eternal knight for the five percent skill damage another of the dagger and we have no iconic crystals in any of these things as well so it seems like the Boudica is the normal is the best you know equipment that they have on for archers Juge Leong is obviously the secondary here taking a look at the armaments here we have 7.4 percent archer attack 9.3 percent archer defense and nine percent health with three inscriptions and we have let's see what it is five percent extra damage over 70 okay makes sense there we have two percent extra damage on the map and we have three percent less counter attack damage taken which is beautiful and that just pushed Juge Leong pretty high up on that list there uh next we have um I don't know where this gear is coming from um, I don't know if it's gear that we already saw it must not be because when he switches it doesn't seem like uh it shows that it's coming from somebody else but we obviously see a full talented everything except for the um, accessories here we also see the first Mora's web I believe uh, I think it's the first one we've seen all video and another uh pendant of eternal night really stacking as much skill damage as possible here in the accessory slot next up we have the armaments here we have 9.4 percent attack six percent defense and 10.4 percent health we have phalanx which is a cool name for for an inscription there but it says whenever you use an active skill third person tends to gain a shield for three seconds it's a really small shield but hey it is pretty nice we also have five percent march speed outside of territory which is beautiful for infantry we have two percent extra damage on the map and we have smite two percent extra normal attack damage that is a an intuitive name there and as you can see um all of these commanders are expertise you would expect that for sure from an account that looks like this margaret is also still being worked on over here on this account as well but as they scroll through you can see um Thutmose is expertise on this account um also still working on chook and it looks like they're also still working on the same commanders as wild lion so gilgamesh flavius so perhaps my theory of this being an infantry garrison account was wrong um i suspect that these players typically win the mightiest governors in their kingdom and they probably take turns winning them uh so whoever needs it first or most is the one that probably gets it yeah it makes sense but um i also saw earlier that these players have between three and four thousand universal legendary commander sculptures saved like i'll see if i could pull that up without revealing too much of their information but like look at this four thousand one hundred and twelve universal legendary commander sculptures saved up absolutely insane okay and I believe wild Lion had like 3,000 and something as well and I'm sure you can believe me because you've seen how insane these accounts are but yeah they're probably just holding on to these sculptures and like if they need a Flavius garrison then boom they just expertise Flavius no big deal they could just make it happen instantly right they're also probably saving these for upcoming commander releases like Gorgo right they could probably instant max Gorgo when she comes into the game they've already instant maxed Liu Che so I mean it makes sense that they could do that for this current KBK that they're in but as you can see here tons of just tons of sculptures of of everything it's it's wild now some of you may be wondering how I arrived at the two million dollar price point that's in the title and again I just want to be clear that they did not tell me how much they spent it could be significantly less than this okay I could be completely wrong and also these players do not live in the United States they speak Russian I believe that they well I'm not going to say what country that I was told that they're in in case they don't want that to be known but as you can see here this is the 2023 yearbook for Mr Hope okay and I saw the yearbook for Wild Lion as well and it was about the same so we see 93,546,915 gems tucked away so that is an insane amount of gems for a single year and remember this is father and son so you have to multiply this by two because it's occurring on the other account as well and we also see by looking in the inventory that we see three yearbooks okay 2021 2022 and 2023 so we know that you know perhaps or I guess I shouldn't say we know but we can assume that there was a similar level of spending 
in the previous years okay i mean to just get to where they are i could be wrong i could be completely wrong about that they could have spent significantly less in the past few years or maybe they spent a lot in 2022 and 2023 but nothing in 2021 or very little it's very very possible okay or they could have started playing at the end of 2021 for example so there, there's a lot of speculation that goes into this but we do know how many gems that they've tucked away in one year and i also did a little bit of calculations here just just for my own brain to see like how accurate is my assessment okay so first of all if we take a look I know this looks like a lot of numbers but I'll, I'll break it down pretty simply here okay if you train a thousand tier five units this is approximately how much uh it's going to cost you okay it depends on what troops it is whether it's archers or cavalry or infantry obviously infantry doesn't use stone but you you get what I'm saying okay on average like this is a thousand uh units right a thousand tier five units it gives you ten thousand power this is how many gems it would cost if you gem it and this is about how many how many hours it would take okay we can extrapolate that out if we multiply everything by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 and you know 100 million troops is 1 billion power okay and we know that both these players are over a billion power and also I assume that you know if they were zero they'd be around 59 million I just made a video talking about a player whose max power ever was 222 million and they got zero down to about 59 million uh, and there was a scout report showing that they were zeroed at that power so if you missed that video go ahead and check it out because it actually is pretty insane but just for argument's sake and to keep these numbers rough right because this is all estimates anyway let's assume that 59 million power is something that can't be zeroed because that's their you know tech power and their commander power and all that other stuff right so if we take a look at how much their power was when these videos were recorded I think their power right now is a little bit lower because they're in kvk but we know how much troop power they have and if we divide that by 10 we know how many units of tier fives that they have okay so Mr Hope had about 300,000 more tier five units than Wild Lion but to average these out let's just say that they have about 115 million 500 000 tier 5 units and we know um, that they are all tier 5 units I saw that in the video uh, again I didn't show the number of tier 5 units because they are in kvk and I don't know if they want that information to be public but trust me this is an accurate number we approximately know how many resources it would take to train that many but remember this is for a single account and we're talking about two accounts here by the same family father and son so really like this is the total amount of resources it would take to literally manually train that many troops or how many hours four million three hundred eighty nine thousand hours of training time or gems you could gem these as well right 330 million gems which is insane now if we take a look at the war machine bundle which again I'm oversimplifying this clearly they've had to purchase bundles other than war machines some of which may be better value right like they're probably buying call of the ancients and they're also probably buying other bundles for equipment materials things like that right they're also buying holiday bundles and all this stuff so really like they're probably getting better value than what we're showing here because war machine is just the standard bundle that's in the shop all the time right but just to give you as a general idea in us dollars it costs 385 us dollars to max purchase that bundle on any given day and you can only do that once a day it resets every day but you get 94,850 gems and remember we know that in the past year both of them have have tucked away 93 million gems okay so we see this is how many gems that was tucked away which is 986 max purchases of a bundle okay so if you multiply that by 385 that is 380 thousand dollars in just gems alone okay per account but if we extrapolate that out to three years for two accounts that's 2.2 million now I think that this is a very this is on the way way high end okay this is on the way high end I think it's probably a bit lower than that okay um and also just so you guys can see I did the math for how much you know speed ups food wood stone and gold you get from a max purchase of a war machine bundle and we can compare this you know like let's say the food and wood to how much food and wood they would need to convert into uh, troops right we know how many troops that they had but also they have dead troops as well remember we saw that on um, wild lines account he has like 80 million or yeah 83 million dead troops or something like that right so based on the gem value for one of these accounts okay they have about 3480 max purchases of a super value bundle okay I'm gonna say that again the gem value if they were to have gemmed all their troops would have been equivalent to 3480 max purchases of the war machine bundle okay again and again I know they're buying other bundles I know that this is not a this is not perfect math um the food or wood cost of their current troop account on average again we don't know or I didn't reveal the exact breakdown of what troops that they have 
uh, but it's about 1,400 max purchases of War Machine. And you can go through and see that as well. Now, I kind of just averaged this out, like on average, how many max purchases did they do, right? That's kind of the conclusion that, uh, that I came to. So I just took the number of max purchases, multiplied it by 385. I did that for all these. Then I divided it by two because we're talking about per account. So on average, the current troops is about five and a half million dollars worth of max purchases right if you include the deads on average it's eight hundred and twenty thousand dollars and then you multiply these by two because we're talking about mr hope and wild line and as you saw their accounts are very similar so on the low end uh, I would say their accounts are probably worth about a mil 1.5 million uh, combined, right? That's on the low end. I would say on the high end, it's 2.2 million, uh, but it's probably somewhere in between there. Uh, the, again, this is also assuming, remember, this is assuming US dollars and we know for sure, we know for a fact that they are not spending in US dollars. So it could actually be, you know, lower than that. Uh, it could be a million dollars, right? Uh, but like, we're kind of splitting hairs here, right? We're talking about spending a million dollars on a mobile game, even if it's only half a million, right? Like, listen to what I just said. Half is only half a million. Only? It's only half a million. So I just wanted to share with you guys this sort of napkin math. Okay. This is again, very averaged out. It's very oversimplified. This is not, this is assuming kind of the worst case scenario with max purchasing war machine, right? So again, I don't want you to take this as gospel. We don't know exactly how much these accounts are worth. My math here could be a little bit wrong. It is obviously a lot to go over. So again, you can correct me if you want in the comment section below. I'm not trying to claim this as fact. Like they definitely spent $2 million. Like that's just my rough estimate, but I just wanted to do the math because I was curious myself. And I think that it is actually insane. And you guys are probably curious as well, how much accounts like this are probably worth. And remember everything that you see here is just troops. We didn't talk about spinning the wheel for commanders. We didn't talk about getting all of the armaments that they had to get, right? We didn't talk about equipment right like that's expensive stuff okay so i just wanted to put that out there um i this is this is not only is this rough math but it's literally only calculating the cost of their troops and that's it and in case you were wondering i don't know if we covered this before but mr hope has 86 million dead troops so like both these accounts are very very similar so that's why the math was just you know divided by two multiplied by two they're very similar accounts anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it once again i want to give a huge shout out to wild lion and to mr mr hope for basically revealing their accounts to the public in this video i really really appreciate it and i thank them for the opportunity to do that and to be the one to show you inside their absolutely insane accounts it's not every day that we get to see inside the accounts of two of the top five most powerful players in the entire game in the whole world it's actually a privilege and i do really appreciate that i also want to give another shout out to cdn the third because again without him translating for me and doing the the correspondence and sending me the video files i would not have been able to make this video so once again thank you i appreciate that and i do want to wish all of these players a good luck in their current kvk if you haven't been keeping up with their kvk uh it is it's one of the biggest kvks that's happened in a very long time so i'm sure you could see it over on probably chiskel's channel i think shinshi is covering it as well shinshi actually might even be in that kvk if i'm remembering correctly anyway guys i would love to hear your thoughts on both of these accounts in the comments section below and how much do you think that these accounts are actually worth do you think i'm way off do you think it's like 200k like what what is what is the truth i want to know what you guys think these accounts are actually worth and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel we're so close to 60,000 subscribers it's actually insane so please consider clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video or go live with rise of kingdoms because i have been doing that a little bit more frequently lately and you don't want to miss it guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace